Hello and welcome to Cybermasters, everybody. A crazy show tonight. We have a really great guest. You guys know him. Patrick William Deegan. How are you? Welcome to an exciting show. No, that was for your Cyber intro. Masters. My God. Really? I'm excited. I'm really uh, crazy stuff has happened. Our friend here has been notified by the bank. He owes them a hundred million dollars. No, 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 no. no. Uh, how much was it exactly? It was. It was one hundred billion dollars. Billion, billion with a B. Dollars with a B. This is my cup. One hundred billion dollars. Yes, it was a hundred billion dollars. Oh, we see, have that little hair. see that in there, and then look at that. So I don't know how that happened. It'll be a wacky story. Um, we're gonna try to do um, a product placement. Patrick and I have some interesting product placement um, ideas, and we tried to do one a couple weeks ago. It almost worked. It was pretty funny. It was with the flipper, flipper two point the flipper two point oh. That was pretty good, you know. And uh, people love flipper though. And, I mean, uh, they well, can't listen, get enough of Flipper. A, it, all I hear all week long, I get phone calls, text messages, emails. Flipper, flipper. Where can I get Flipper? Where can I get Flipper? So what do you tell them? Where do you get the Flipper? You, you can't get, get the Flipper. Vape. Get into Vape. Flipper is outdated. The tech, outdated. the tech in the Vape pen. The, oh, my God. Okay. I'm opening Teslas. Okay. I'm so, opening Teslas. So the technology. I'm starting Kias. Yes. So I don't even want to tell you. I think that's what happened with Chase, by the way. That's what happened with Chase. I think so. They took you. They got you your investment money early. Basically. Well, what happens is it has a USB. Hundred billion is what it took at the bottom. So what I think happens when I was updating the software for my vape, it somehow yes. caused a glitch within the matrix. Oh, oh what version? What version are you on on yours? This is the the Sauce V.20. Oh, okay, okay. Well, do you know version um, software you have on it? No, uh, until we get sponsored and officially receive product from them, I'm not really going to talk about more. This allows for a competitor to buy all means. Yeah, please. I mean, exactly. You know, we'll take some, but we'll, we'll, we'll show a few other examples Hang on a of, of a wonderful technology we have here. This is here. smooth. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. It's but uplifting. But, but, it's energetic. Hold on a second, it's got Patrick. A, it's got a, a, a beautiful bouquet. You're, 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 you're holding back from the big story here. We want to know what's going on with the hundred billion dollars. One hundred billion dollars. So come on, tell us what happened. Can we take you take us through the scenario uh, before we watch this, before we start the show? I really want to talk about this because then we're going to go into other segments. We're going to let you think about it for a little bit. Why did this happen? All right. First of all, it wasn't a hack. Right, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a mistake. It wasn't a, wasn't a. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a scammer who breached into some kind of network. It wasn't a clone <laughs> site. It wasn't a ulterior hyperlink that brought me to some misdirected source. There wasn't even any request for payment. It was just, 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 uh, just to let you know and to correct your account. I believe I, I sent you the email, so maybe you can pull that up and show them. We can point it out. You mean because. this one? Yes, I have it ready for us. In this email, which was verified by our cybersecurity experts, by the way. Well, it was originally <laughs> verified about, email from Chase Bank. I want to point this out. So this is Ed's show, and Ed is the cyber master here. But yes. Ed had to be alerted by the novice, if you will, in the room, who is a little bit older, who does have a little bit more knowledge, but doesn't <laughs> dabble. No, Ed, this is legit. <laughs> this is not fake. This is from Chase's official source. Another person that's very close to me. I'm not going to say her name because she'll kill me. She did exactly what you did, and her whole background is IT. We spoke about her in the past, okay? So it was just very funny that two people within the industry could not believe that this was a legit flaw within the system. Listen, we rely we on this spoke, stuff all the time. Listen, yeah, you blew my mind when we spoke. I was like, oh, it's got to be a hack. And then I had our cybersecurity experts validate, no, it was really from Chase. Yeah, it wasn't even I was a like, hack. It's oh, a, it's it must a... have been a mistake. And then when we realized it was a mistake, I started turning colors. I literally said, Patrick, I need to take a break and think for a little while. I'll call you back. <laughs> Let me call, call you back. back. Ten minutes later, I get a phone call. You know why I'm calling, right? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, it's real. I'm like, I know it's real. <laughs> yeah, I called you back in ten minutes. I'm like, uh, it's real. It's not fake. And one more time. I yeah. Cue it because it's so funny, but $100 billion. $100 billion. <laughs> now, that's, so, <laughs> that's the only time you heard that before. I had to look it up and know there hasn't been an uh, overdraft fee, to my knowledge, yet of $100 billion. But Ed was able to find a whole bunch that showed $99,999,999.99 exactly. $99, <laughs> added to whatever their outstanding balance was. 
Just a whole bunch of nines. This is the first one billion dollar one. Oh man! Well, well, hundred billion. Hundred billion. I apologize. Hundred billion I, one. Because I can't, I still can't grasp it. You well, know. Well, exactly. We just hold like the world ransom for one million dollars. <laughs> Don't you think we should maybe ask for more than a million dollars? A million dollars. One hundred billion dollars. Precisely. It's hard to realize how much money that is. But I mean, in that's terms of an the, incredible the institution amount. that we're dealing with. So, 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 so you have you contacted them? Did you speak with them yet? What's gone on here so far? No. Here's what happened. Uh, last, I received an email notification. So the backstory of this is. So you got this on uh, what is that? Uh, a couple of days ago. What is it, a Monday? Monday at nine eight p.m. Well, Monday at nine. This PM. is. Should we tell the backstory a little bit? <laughs> yes, please do. For the for the sympathy, if, you're, if you yes, will. I didn't and I don't mean to be apathetic, but um, I've been dealing with this already for over a month. My father had passed away Halloween night. I'm very sorry. My condolences. Uh, thank you. So this is a problem with the financial institution confusing names and addresses where I have the same name as my father. We had gone to the bank. Same middle name also? Yes. Only there isn't always a slot in filling out forms and applications for a junior, senior, or the third de designation. Now, if you have the same address, it relies purely on Social Security numbers. Now, since he had not been doing well over, the, over some period of time, there was no activity going on. But okay. certain institutions don't really care about that. They just look at it as, oh, maybe the, the account's been dormant. So, so this is your father's bank account that had been dormant for a short period of time? Uh, within a month. Okay. But within that time, an no overdraft fee had month. kicked in. I am set up, my email is set up as Patrick Deegan as apparently the primary email for all the activity on these accounts. Could have been because he was older. I, I, I can't ask him right now. I just know that for years I've been receiving that and text message alerts. At one point, my number was a primary number on a contact list. Again, we don't know what happened with Chase. We just know that I... Through my email, as Patrick Deegan received a notification that my account was overdrafted by $100 million. That would have been odd for me, except earlier that day, my mother and I had gone down to Chase Bank with a death certificate to inform them that their client had passed away and they should close the account. Well, what, is, what do you have to do if you have a family member who passes? Is that the standard? Yeah. You I, go to the bank and you show <coughs> the death certificate? What when happens? You, it could take 5, 14 days or whatever it takes to get the death certificates, and then you have to go around to these various institutions, apparently, and cancel the accounts and show them. But you need beyond that. What we found out is we could not close the account. Because although it was my mother, she did not have the power of attorney or the will on in, in her hand at that moment. Couldn't she prove she that was her husband? It didn't matter? I, I'm Patrick Deegan at that address. I, I We have the correspondence. Do you know what I mean? I mean, all we didn't have with us was the actual paperwork to prove to this woman that we have the legal right to be there to close this account. Okay. She said she could not close the account. Because took a you copy of the death there. certificate. I told her, well, we're the, there to notify her that her client is deceased. If we have no say in this, then we're out of the loop at this point. Right, right. To which I received an email at 9 p.m. that night to my account saying that I'm in arrears over $100 billion. So you're saying at the end of that event that evening at 9 p.m., you received this email about the $100 billion. Yes. And you did not know how much was in the account prior to this? Um, I, for all I know, it could have been negative a hundred billion at that point. I, I don't know. I have no access. No it's access not my account. account. I don't have right to the oh, account. Oh man! I did receive this today with my other mail. Now I have uh, came with my credit card statement and okay. another uh, solicitation from another bank. So, but but, this, but hold on a second. So so it's standard for someone. Um, so so you ever had, had a relative who passed. You went to the bank. You gave them the death certificate to prove. And they still didn't give you access to the account. What did they say they were going to do next for you? What did they say on the was the next action on the phone? No, we were in there per, in person. Okay. What what did they say was the next steps, if you will? I we ex, they didn't say what the next step was. Got they it. said we would if we needed to close the account. She was going to put. She took the, a copy of the deficit. Agreement, didn't explain what was going on from that point. Okay. Okay. Today I received this in the mail. Okay. Now keeping in mind we had closed the account. They had known that this has been over a month. It's still overdrawn. No, no, no. But look at the name and the address. Okay. It's your name. It's that account number. Well, it's that account number, but I didn't know when I had opened it. Okay. So I it's do have authorization address. through my mother, who's the executive of the state, to even open his mail if need be. But wow. I opened this under the understanding it was me. Yeah, I don't Yeah, but let's go a step further. 
because look at the the now we see here online the notification via email was a uh, hundred billion dollars twelve dollars and fifty six cents this is twelve dollars and fifty seven cents okay so fortunately the hundred billion's been taken off but now uh, an extra penny's owed in the account <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah no I mean so it got rectified. Is that what you're saying? It got fixed. Everything's fixed now. Is that why it's back to twelve bucks? Like no, no. Hell? This this now that's where it gets interesting because this statement was prepared November twenty fourth. What you're seeing was mailed out November twenty ninth or twenty eighth. Correct. So something happened within a week. So that's where this November twenty fourth. This is November twenty eighth. Interesting Four enough. Please later. make a deposit to keep your overdrawn your your overdrawn account open. If you look on what. What this says at the bottom of it, I believe I did tell you the whole thing. Where yes, it says, yes. Uh, actions may have been taken to correct this overdraft fee. Correct. If that's the case, ignore it. So this is where we're at now. So I'm getting mail from Chase, both email and paper Letters. form. They're showing different numbers. Again, they're, respond they're both referencing the same account, which, to be really honest with you, we can only assume is my father's because it's at his address, but we don't know. Okay, okay. But in the last four days, a hundred billion dollars went into the negative on this account. Yes, a hundred billion dollars. Uh, One hundred billion dollars. I, and twelve dollars and fifty six cents. So, so um, it that sounds a little bit wild. So, so what's the next step, Patrick? I, 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 I what are you going to do next? Honestly, we have it's. We have to assume it's a, a glitch. It's a problem within their, I, I don't know. I don't want to say it's an accounting error because this it is Chase Financial. This is, Chase is kind of a big deal, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, to offset accidentally $100 billion, which is a GDP of a lot of countries. So, so hold on. We have to advance a little further. No, uh, in fact, you and, I, you and I know the answer. But it takes most people at least two hours. I have some very highly intelligent individuals in my office. It took them two hours to put their finger on what it could possibly have been. So I want to just throw it out there that how did this gentleman here get this, this amount? Oh, you need to get him on the phone? So I'm not going to allow anybody else to play devil's advocate and explain why Chase did what they did or what Chase may have done or any industry experts. For We're calling Chase in the right now. We're calling Chase right now about the minus hundred billion. Your account number followed by the pound key. Customer service. One hundred billion dollars. <laughs> so here we'll walk them through this. I'm bypassing there. Okay. I'm bypassing everything by just pressing zero for operator. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Welcome to Chase Bank. This is Bell. My ID is 0434283. Can I have your account number, please? I don't have that, but I can give you my number and email. It has to do with correspondence I've been receiving from your institution. I'm sitting here with my agent with all due respect, and if you agree to correspond any further, we'd love to have you on the show. So, uh, real fast, my name is Patrick Deegan, 5 Dressler Road, Greenlawn. I will say that for the record for the public. Um, this is about a $100 billion debt. I'm not kidding, by the way. This is very sincere. My email is iqpro at aol.com. I receive a correspondence from your institution saying that I have an overdraft of $100 billion and $12.56. How would I like to correct this? So I'm calling you about that and a follow-up letter that I received today uh, dated November 24th that states that I owe $12.57 on an overdrafted account. I can only assume that this is my father who had passed away about a month ago, but I don't think he owes $100 billion on the account. Billion. So any information you need from me, I'm more than happy to help you. I am the one receiving this information, but I don't have an account with you. Your father's name is Mr. Patrick Deegan. Did I get that correctly? Yes, it's the exact same name and the same address. There's just I'm junior, he's senior, and it doesn't mention that or the middle initial on the, the account. And, yeah. and you mentioned that Mr. Patrick Deegan has already passed away, right? Yes. Officially October My 31st of this year. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. My condolences are in behalf of Chase. Uh, Mr. Deegan, are you able to pay 
receiving a copy of Mr. Deacon's um, death certificate at the branch so that we can stop the, the calls? Uh, well, that's the issue. We did that, and this began after we had presented a death certificate to the local branch. We went in the day of receiving the email notification. So four hours later, I received an email notification. After we had attempted to close the account, we were told we could not close the account but we were, because we were not on the account. Yet, apparently, he had set me up as the email contact for the account, where that night, four hours after going to attempt to close the account, they took a copy of the death certificate, and we received a notification that it was $100 billion in overdraft. $100 billion. My apologies for that this has caused you um, inconvenience. Um, I will document Mr. Deacon that uh, Mr. Patrick Deacon has already passed away. Um, will that stop uh, email and letter correspondence or just out of curiosity? Like, Because I, I apologize to you, but we're a family member. We're the family. I'm sorry for losing track of my thoughts. Um, it is, it's, a, it's a troubling time, if you understand. So we're trying to figure everything out. We're not sure how many accounts or how many banks he may have. Uh, we became aware of this after the accounts we knew of. We had closed, but there was correspondence like I had said to you. So will this end the transactions both via email and paper? And the reason I'm asking is because via email, it's saying one balance. The, the letter I have today is saying $12.57, but the email is saying $100 billion, $12.56. dollars Oh, no, it's not just that. It's the $12.56 to $12.57. I mean, as a family and, the, and you know, in, in terms of the estate, we're going to have to pay. And I don't know if it's $12.56, $12.57, or if this is not corrected through your system, if it's going to be $100 billion, $12.56. $100 billion. I understand that they're going to be paying well, yeah, not not. Can I ask you a question though? It's not that it's difficult; it's beyond comprehension. It's a hundred billion dollars, so it's not like a. Well, yeah, it's it. it so well, it, I'll be really. I don't mean to be rude. I don't know what kind of position you're in. It's a lot of money to some. But you know, I I don't think he was generating a hundred billion dollars in debt. But we really don't know what he was up to in the last months when he was very ill. And in and out of the hospital, you know? I mean, I hear hospital bills can be exorbitant these days. I don't know if it's $100 billion within a month. I know he was had a lot of medications. And he did do a lot of mail order catalogs, you know? I know he had a, a, a almost, let's call it a fetish for L.L. Bean. But I thought when cleaning up the home, we might find $100 billion in product, at least in the home. Or, or just call it, call it, you know, $50 billion. And then the rest, $100 billion was wasted in, let's say, tip or Uber or Lyft fees. I don't know. But I'm curious because we can't access the account. Does this seem like it was a mistake? Was there literally $100 billion that we might, as a state, have to be liable for? I understand, sir, how concerning it is that it shows as hundred. And I appreciate it. I'm going to interrupt you right there because you've said that several times, and it is concerning. So is there anything that you could suggest or say that will clear out our mind or consciences or just take a little bit of the emotional duress off of that staggering $100 billion mark? My apologies. $100 billion. But what I will do is I will... When you say my name isn't on the account, I apologize, but isn't my name the account? Uh, so, uh, well, that's what I'm saying. How do we cl how do we clarify that on the phone? I you you are the son, right? Yes. So I'll just, uh, I'll <coughs> that. No, no. I apologize. I'm telling you. I I am clearly admitting I am not. But how do you qualify whether or not I am the account holder? I am Patrick William Deegan at Five Dresser Road. That is that is unquestionable. I have a photo identification. I'm, I'm known to be at that address. I've gone on record publicly in the past, which is why I have no problem saying it here on air. There are documentation, sir, that um, someone, you, you spoke with someone from our department before informing us that uh, Mr. Patrick W. Deegan has already passed away. Okay, so that would be in-house at the bank, I assume, on the 28th or 29th? Thank you. No, I just wanted to make sure that there was some record of this because in the time of us showing up 
to, to, to now is $100 billion extra on the account. One hundred. I apologize since you are not the signer of the account. I cannot discuss any information. Okay, so then but as his son, no, I don't, I hate to be rude, but I, I'm kind of, I'm preoccupied with a couple of different things right now. I'm actually in the middle of a show. I, I have to get back to it because we've got a couple of product placements to do. So what I need from you right now is just, could you just simply say that beyond that dollars. I'm not the account holder, does it look like as representatives of his state, we might owe Chase Bank $100 billion? $100 That doesn't sound good. All right, all right. No, no. I'll I'll start uh, I'll start saving my pennies and uh, hustling my ass on the corner. I guess I don't know. Thank you for your time. I really do appreciate this. A hundred billion. That's a that's a big one. My apologies, sir, but um, I cannot discuss any information. But I will document her. No, no, absolutely. You've been more than helpful. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I heard your your name was a name and a number. So. Good luck to you, 2468219 or whatever it was. Thank you very much again. My apologies, sir. No, no, that's, that's duly noted. We've, we've, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I, I do appreciate it. Have a good night, okay? Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Whoa. That, this is, I, I, I don't know Patience what is a virtue. to make of this. I don't know what to make so of this. So I'm going to make of this so he doesn't spin this. And I so, mean this literally. So here's what happens. Everything is outsourced. We heard who she was. These are the people that you would refer to on your show even. So it's not just that there's solicitations coming internationally and there's no checks and balances to the uh, authentication of anything whatsoever. All she did is apologize over and over again. She did say that I won't be getting these notices. I did tell her my email. I did tell her the address. I don't know if she actually had time to These document notices. it or how she has the ability or authority without me being the account holder to stop the notices. I don't know, man. This so if the notices stop good. because of this, no, it's who's in charge is what I'd like to know. So I'm a little so, so, so amped up because to... bluntly, she could not qualify one way or the other if we are $100 billion. Okay, so, so I just want to... This is this is an unusual show, so so you, you know um, you and I have been friends a long time. You wanna I'm sorry. Go for a walk and take a breather. I know this this I, is tough for you guys. Well, hold. On. Well, I, I'm sorry you lost your father. First of all, it, I, I apologize. It, you know, you and I have known each other a long time. It's 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 it's, it's messed up, and and it's I'm sorry, but to have to see this. And I got to be honest with you. This is messed up. But, but what's what going on with things like this? I, I can't even fully, so to speak, in terms of compartmentalizing emotions and situations in life. We didn't, we're still cleaning out the house, and we're getting notifications like this. So when you ask me, what have I done? Well, we did go to the bank to try and close an account on a deceased person, and they told us we couldn't, exactly like what you heard tonight. Yes, I miss Sonia. The lady yes, I just the said, address. sorry, I can't help she you. She even noted that, yes, that there was a death cert, like, that they are she aware at the branch. Mm. So, I, I, I'm not sure. at times like this, when I get overworked and stressed, I like apple fritter hybrid by sauce. Apple fritter. Oh, that's a lovely flavor you have there. Apple fritter. That, that's interesting technology you have there. It is. It's a USB charge. I'm not sure what the wattage of the voltage is. It plugs into just about every common micro. Isn't it 36 volt or something like that? I don't know, but like I said, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we couldn't hack into this thing. So I'm holding it up. I don't know if Ed can zoom in. Yes, yes, I can. There we go. We can hack into that USB. Nice, nice. I wonder what kind of data could be stored. I'd, How much well, memory What kind of data is on could be stored? Anything? I'm curious what kind of data is stored. We've been on. You we've know? been into that on this show. Yeah. Let's get into the conspiracy theory realm because... I'm, I, I owe $100 billion to Chase, so, so I don't want to hear from anybody <laughs> that my theories are far-fetched or, oh, no, Patrick. And to that relative that I was on the phone with today? Yes, yes. Hi. That person did not believe it the same way you did, like was explaining every different angle. Like, uh, yeah, no, I know. So, so I hold know. on a I second. Know. So So we just got on the phone with Chase to find out why you got an email that says 
that you're a hundred billion dollars in debt on their account. And a hundred billion, twelve dollars and fifty six cents. All she said was, "I'm sorry, sir. Uh, we have the death certificate, but we cannot discuss the account with you." She couldn't even tell you, "No, maybe it's a mistake. Don't worry." You don't owe no, no, she, $100 No, she definitely billion. didn't say that. She didn't say – she just said, sorry, three times. Oh, no. And sorry, and I, I can't freaking talk to you. Something about – I can't – I understand it's a high amount or something like that. She <laughs> was probably – she was probably sitting there going, you know? No, I can't it's a believe customer it. Customer call center somewhere in the I, world. I'm a little I'm, – I'm a little amped up now. So, so as my friend you, – Are you aware of the time now? Yes, yes. Okay, so unless that's California and they're operating several hours behind, okay. that's somewhere else in the world. That is daytime hours somewhere on the other side of the world, a call center. Okay, okay. Where they have very limited information. But you lost a relative and now the bank is messing with you. What the hell is that about? I don't know. This is an American bank. Personal, it's Dr. Evil. Uh, yeah, I mean, how, uh, how did they come to that number? How did they use the Dr. Evil number to put on this document? That's a Dr. I, Evil number. To go a step further, even if they assumed or had some understanding or a glitch or crossed wires and assumed that they're notifying the deceased, that he owes $100 billion? Like, what? what's the purpose? Like, what's well, this, be what's this automation? The oh, bank? by the way, you've overdrafted. But it's set up that we could, if I had access to the account, begin making payments. Yeah, think about it. You have the same exact name. I, so, so I'm not going to engage in whatever kind of fraud they're doing, so, but so they have in terms the of the estate, apparently my mother right now should start taking precautions to take care of this hundred billion dollar. I mean, hundred billion is a. Uh, uh, it's like a country. It's like a whole division of Chase in Europe. So I mean, they can't talk to <laughs> us because he's deceased, and as the estate, we might owe a hundred billion. So I feel a little weird because. It, this is funny. It's weird, you know, but it's also dealing with something really oh, you don't have real, to worry because if they, which is the death of your I father. Promise. I'm well, sorry. We, I feel I don't want to laugh or be like no, amused no. in any kind of way. Honestly, that's what I said. And if anybody is misunderstanding this, it's like a departure. It's like a, a mis misplaced emotion, if you will, like like anger, depression, sadness, you know, denial. What? happened in the middle of this within the the grasping it all was this so all the emotions are for me at least are coming out on this so it's coming out as a little bit of hostility with them but i have to almost laugh it off because it's so emotional and the timing it's either that or it'll crack me mm -hmm. your father died uh, we're so sorry we are so sorry to hear that sir our deepest condolences to you right so what about the hundred billion yeah that is a big amount <laughs> but uh, my apologies to you sir i'm so sorry what, what do, I, do we owe a hundred billion? Is this a glitch? Is this like, like I said to you, if it is a hack, it's a prank and it's a brilliant prank. It's not a hundred million. A prank from Chase Bank? It's not Bank? a billion dollars. No, a hacker. Oh, well, you, but, but hold on, hold on. Okay. But, but if a hacker would have gotten to, into the account, Chase would have well, let's explain this to for the fraud department. The, let's explain this for the purpose of the show. Okay. If a hacker got into the account, can you pull up the email? Go ahead and pull up the full email. Do oh, hold on. Hold, yeah, I have it. Uh, you just have to um, – here, give us a second. I can pull it up exactly the way you sent it to me. It's right here, sir. And there you go. That's the email okay. exactly. So this is how it was sent to me. Uh, let's just turn it this way because then you just have the email only. And go. someone will have to screenshot it to see what the addresses are. But go, this is sent to my personal email. It's been in operation for about 30 years, okay? Okay. So I do get his notifications. Like years ago, he didn't have an email. He didn't even know what it was at points. So I just ignore this like it's junk mail. When I saw this as your account is overdrawn, I checked it. I did find out through looking at the, uh, the correspondence at home. It looks like 3701 was an older account, but we don't know when the last time it was active or dormant or anything because, as you heard, we're not allowed to find out. So we come into the date, and it's November 28th, 2022 at 9.04 p.m. Earlier that day, we were in at the branch, which the woman on the phone just politely confirmed that there is – I mean it took her the whole entire conversation to confirm, confirm that they have something on record as of – and then I had to say the date. You know, Was it this date roughly? Okay, $100 billion, $12.56. Since the time of this alert, the overdraft may have been covered by another transaction or other transactions may have further overdrawn your account. 
and then review account. Like, now, is this legitimate? It's now, if this was a hack, they would have redirected this link where it would not be going to Chase Bank. They would want the money. They wouldn't want Chase to get the $100 billion. Not only that, but I also had cybersecurity experts validate that that was a valid email come through, and you're seeing it operate validly. We're pulling it up here. Yeah, I mean, this that's is this is, this is had I responded to Secure it this way as the account holder or as the, as the executive of the estate. Mm-hmm. Executive of the estate. Executor. Yeah. Can you uh, – I'm pressing back. Oh, just I'm going to knock Apple real fast. I hate it. you, Apple. Go back. Oh, you wanted to go Google? Try that. Half of your viewers just dropped off the show. No, we're here. No, I'm going to get hate mail. We're here. This is, I mean, think about it. So is anybody, all right, so hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Patrick. We're going to go through the options here, all right? We're about halfway through the show. Option number one, you were hacked, buddy. Somebody took the account and you were hacked. And maybe nobody noticed yet. Fraud department has noticed. Even though you've been to the branch and made multiple phone calls. Option number two, it's a mistake, right? It's a mistake. They made a mistake. They went in there. It's not somebody, like a man at work. Song. Somebody was no, like, no, no, no. "Oh, choo!" and had their no, their finger on the zero. But wait a minute, it's one zero zero. So they had the num finger on the one, and then all right. So it could have been a typo. Number two, a, three, typo. A, a typo, a typo. Like as I said, uh, somebody's, somebody's cat walked typo. across the keyboard. <laughs> Stood on the one and then they pressed down on the zero and just held it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I, it's possible. I mean, you know, here, turn around, man. You got your back to the show, man. Yeah, no, no, because uh, I'm yeah, looking he's up getting something. disgusted. He's done. I don't want to be with the part of the show anymore. That's it. Um, because I, I needed to be powered. I needed to be there. Nice. Better? Yes, yes, much the better. The power cord is here. People can see it. Oh, sure. Kill the camera angle to make me look like there a liar. Go, there you Now yeah, I can look good there. Hi. All right, so, uh, but you have the iPad. You don't need your phone. You could iPad every question. You no, know? I don't need to answer a question. You were saying uh, it's your first option, and I said it was a yes. song. So, what are the options? Could it be a hack? Could it be fraud? You know? Could it be a mistake with a, 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 a glitch within the matrix, right? Wait, wait. You need music to say this? <laughs> we may not be licensed. <laughs> no, no, and we're going to see right now if this part gets booted out. Okay, okay, got it. All right, so. <laughs> Are you talking bear about the Bear with me, bear with me. Your brother would know what's going on right now, okay? My brother? Your brother I, okay. would know. I don't understand. Okay. This is the Men at Work song. I know what I'm doing, trust me. Okay, okay. But what are our options? Can I talk while this is playing? I mean... Hang on one second. Okay. It's a mistake. Okay, okay, I get it. It's a mistake, so... Okay. Which so which 90% so, of like okay. logical people would think right now, right? Okay. But wait, Ed, there's more. Okay. It's not a mistake. It's a stamp. It's a red flag. It's an internal mechanism for Chase Bank to flag an account for a deceased person without actually closing the account. I have no idea how long these flags hold for, and I don't know why they go so far as to actually send out alerts about the overdrafted amount. No confirmation whatsoever from Chase. Vague news from around the world, literally over the past several years, where this happens with several institutions. One was in Ireland in 2016, a woman for 99 billion nine hundred ninety nine thousand, I think like five thousand two hundred and forty six dollars and cents. So she was overdrafted five thousand dollars, which is, I would think that's a heavy overdraft. But so hold on a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, did you just you tell me? You gotta put a camera over here. Did Shouldn't you, you put just a camera say? In the corner? That the reason this happened is because when someone passes away and there's no one else on the account, they put that number on it so no one can mess with the account for security reasons? Supposedly, they don't close the account for pensions and Social Security that might have to go back. Now, I'm not sure how that works, but apparently but this is a security the person feature? dies prior to the conclusion at the end of the month, the 
estate or the account. Did anybody know that Chase uses that as a security feature? Did you guys know that that's a Chase security feature? That when people pass away, no one has access to your account? Or is this fake news because I saw nothing mentioning from Chase? I know you look it up too. Did you see any official message or any anything from Chase that that's what they do? Did you uh, see anything, in fact, in, in security terms of this using a $100 billion placeholder? Hold on. We saw articles. We, we saw, saw news articles. articles. One was CBS. One was Irish Times. Yes. We yes. saw nothing... I mean, nothing that I would legitimately. <laughs> well, wait a minute. No, no. We both found information that described that this is the purpose of this action. We found articles claiming that was the purpose of the action, but I didn't see any evidence other than an article claiming that that was it. So I saw one minute. that said so nobody from Chase could be reached, I think, at the time. A former employee said something. So I only we read did, two articles. We that did the show anything. today thinking that we were definitely sure that the reason they did it is because of this code so no one can abuse the account that's just speculation at this moment well the previous code is if you look it up was 99 billion 999 thousand 900 whatever you owe this is the billion a hundred billion dollar one so no i found nothing about a hundred okay yes dollars right. but but the, but the but the but when we looked it up and did the research it was a similar attribute similar but in terms i mean we're going to sit on this show and we're going to talk about numbers well, ninety nine billion. No, 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 no. It's kind of close. No, no, I'll throw you off your own show right now in front of everybody <laughs> if you're going to tell me that three point two six is the same as three point two five. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Better. Point zero 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 three two five is a point is same as point zero 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 three two six. Ninety nine billion. You're close enough to a hundred billion. No, 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 not. I'll throw them off the show. Who wants to see it? Uh, I know. We'll head no, out. We'll pull no, in no. somebody else. No, no, okay. We've I'm got sorry. another I host sitting in the I'm wing. Sorry. I know this is an emotional time. No, it's numbers. <laughs> it's the it's the specificity of the number. Okay. It, all right. And then down to billion. the new notice of twelve dollars. This guy's <laughs> number as compared to ninety nine. Yeah, because twelve dollars and fifty six cents wasn't enough. Why not ask for a hundred right. billion? Twelve dollars and so, fifty six cents. So we're cents. speculating that this is the answer. I thought we were sure the answer was it's a security feature. It has to be. And what else? I mean, it has to be at this point. Well, That's what everybody wrote about ABC News in the five years ago. This is the answer, bro. I would have liked to have had confirmation in that phone call, at least to that, but we didn't have that. Why she actually she was left rude. me in my opinion, she was feeling rude. as uneasy. I mean, it would be a waste of everybody's time, but we could call again and we would get a different representative and we might get some more answers. That's no, the other they're going to tell you you're not part of the account and the story. No, we might get well, somebody on, you else. Can you're, you're we the might same get name. somebody else and they might go further with it. I mean, I don't know. This is another game you can play where you can contact these people and keep calling over and over until you either get an answer or get somebody that can explain it to you. Well, somebody we should got tell you the negative hundred billion in the last four days. Somebody's got to tell you something. No, no. Why? Because I'm not the account holder. I, 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 hopefully, we'll see. Well, I mean, she I, said I'm not going to receive notices anymore. Is Chase doing something weird with banking in the United States to do this in deceased people accounts? Well, how many people... I don't if, know if you're a conspiracy if, theorist, but if I this mean... this is a standard procedure, how many people de deceased within that reporting period? Is it internal? It's, if it's internal, why are, the, are emails being generated... You know, I, I mean, it's... You can't be the only one who passed away that this happened to. And we saw articles. It happens. So are there trillions of dollars locked up in these weird accounts? Uh, temporary periods of time, apparently. And not locked up in these weird accounts, the previous accounts. But you don't know if this was like that two years ago. And again, from what I had heard, it's to pay back Social Security or something like that. So the, like, the widows don't have to do it and think it's theirs or something. It's like, so they don't freeze the account. They put Did we tap upon some kind of crazy? In other words, that's it. I, I guess the right way to say it. they don't thing. freeze a they don't freeze the account and then unlock it after it's gone through probate. They add on a hundred billion, right? Because or ninety nine billion, which is the previous right. news. Because it's so logical that if someone passes away, I would put a negative hundred billion in their account. Oh well, yeah, no, it makes sense. complete sense. It makes complete sense. Mm -hmm. Of course, isn't no, no, that the first be, thing you would do? To be really honest with you. <clears throat> If it's that ridiculous of a red flag, why does it have to be in the negative? Why not positive $100 billion? That's what I'm why saying. Why do we have to be in debt if it's just a placeholder? Wait, but billion isn't enough? No, no. I mean, come on. Well, come on, Ed. You know. I'll PayPal you right now an easy billion. <laughs>
It's the hundred billion we have problems with, you know? I mean, we're cash poor at times, you know? We can move some assets around. Um, my, my, my aunt owns part of Chile. We were thinking of selling our ownership there. Um, we've got some islands. Oh, uh, I don't know, man. Have you heard so. of the Cayman? But wait, she, why wouldn't she tell you this is a joke? Why wouldn't she tell you, no, Mr. Deegan, clearly, ha, 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 joke's on you, buddy, ha, I'm just kidding. Because it's not a joke. Don't worry, Mr. Deegan, it, like you've read on the internet, it is, it's Notice a Notice my tone changing, right? I'm not laughing anymore, because it's not a joke. It's, it's, not, it's a joke. not a joke, it's not a hack. I have a, an official, legitimate email from Chase Bank that, we, that I can only assume is my father's account. I don't know. But 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 you. They, in fact, they didn't say. Everyone's telling. But they me, agreed it's the same name. They. It's well, your they're relative. just saying I'm not on the account. So apparently, he did have an account. That's why I was asking her to verify. Like I know what his social security. Well, wait number a minute, is. hold on a second. Is that, the name's the same. How could you not just pretend you're him? Listen, if we have debt coming through to us, we're going to have to verify that whoever the account opener or holder is or whatever took place at that time could have been wasn't him. It's going to be off a social security number, apparently. Hmm. So, but. The account mm. is, is the access to it. The only way I know the game that they were playing is because I guess they have a, a back end. It's not even like I had to, like, mm -hmm. breach anything. You saw we got to the, the, mm -hmm. the wall for Chase. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to play that game. Mm -hmm. I'm getting emails from them. I'm getting letters. Mm -hmm. They know he's deceased. Mm -hmm. I was even told, though, it takes a while for the filing systems to catch up and stuff like that. Apparently so. Does that mean in a week I'll get more letter, letter from them? Then that will be the $100 billion, $12 and... I don't well, know, 56 I, I cents or 57 our cents? at this point are saying, don't worry about it. It'll just go away. I would say that the default after hearing this for 30 minutes, ah, you know it's a mistake of some kind. It'll well, let just me ask your away. listeners. It'll right, just go now, away. Hypothetically, in the doomsday theory, what if it doesn't? How well, you do don't we, know if it's going to go away. How do we prove that he is not $100 billion in debt? Did he have that much fun? Was it that much Uber? No, but how do we prove this? If this is what the digital profile is saying. We're assuming it's some sort of mistake and it'll go away. We it'll are just go away. That, it'll, it'll go away. Now, the reason I wanted to discuss this on the show, what about the hundreds of dollars and the accounts that move hundreds of thousands within a month? How many glitches like this are taking place? So forget the hundred billion, fine. But just in terms of that, then, is it $12.56 or $12.57? Well, it's a rounding error, you know. It's just no, no, of... again, but don't do that. Wait a minute, there was a movie about As the rounding error. she said, I'm era. sorry, sir, I apologize. Yeah, you can't do the banking rounding error. They made a movie about that called Office Space, and it didn't I'm work out I'm just saying so this is two different notifications with the same institution with different amounts. Not dollar amounts, cents amounts. But in the billion – now, reality, in the hundred – billion dollar world the pennies on the dollar there's a lot more pennies on the hundred billion dollars so yeah to me this penny matters so so again i would say our guess only because if we have to pay interest on it yeah our guests are gonna Late think fees. it's just a mistake it's just gonna go away but what what if it doesn't what if it doesn't they sue the estate for a hundred billion, twelve. That's a good country. That's I mean, I mean, it's an outrageous, impossible amount. That has to be some kind of code, but it has to be some kind of code, man. You know, um, I can't imagine it being anything but a code. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, to think that maybe a thousand hackers, a thousand famous Can you put hackers, me on real fast? Yeah, all hit it at the same time. Here you go. Okay, what are we? List of countries by GDP. <laughs> okay, so. I'm a wise ass, yeah. Oh, so, okay. So the U U.S. is how many? What is that number turn out to be? Oh, well, this gets tricky. So you have to go from uh, the top, you look at your bar yes. graph, and then you go below to your map, and you see the color coding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's showing roughly, but the U.S. largest economies in the world by GDP nominal, according to International Monetary Fund estimates. Okay, that's in the trillions. Now, look at the bottom, and you'll see where it's the billions. Yeah, I'm not seeing the U.S. That's in the trillions, correct? That's but in the trillions. We're looking at the 100 billion mark, so you can look. Oh, scroll that up just a I'll, tad. I'll yeah. pull it up for everybody. I there apologize. Okay. Oh, I see. So I we're see. looking at one of the shades of lighter blue. Okay. Okay? 
So basically, wanna, it's so the GDP the of every everywhere in Africa. Uh, the whole, uh, probably uh, just about the whole coast of South America. <laughs> Canada, Canada kicks our ass. I mean, Canada is in the wow. Is it possible your father was ooh, ooh, an look, international look, ooh, spy? Ooh, look, you ooh, look at know. the southeast, though. Look at this. Look at this. Ha uh ha. -huh. Is it take that Asia? Is it possible? I have more debt than you have GDP. Is, is it possible some international spy that he pit by an airline that went bust? Like an Israeli airline that maybe that didn't didn't work, or like, I uh, you know maybe he was just an international mogul, one of the billionaires you just didn't know. Um, uh, but but I guess you got to say, why would Chase let that amount build up before they asked you for money back? Number one, how could Chase let this get to a hundred billion? And they left the 56 cents in there. Oh, here, 56 it, cents. It, it gave me a new toy for the show. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. So yes. 100 billion in debt. Bonanza of mega. What does that say? Oh, wow. 100 the U.S. has already plus. canceled roughly 100 billion in student debt. Maybe the, the student debt for everybody no. in the country was given to us. The, the student loan forgiveness. Maybe maybe we paid. You paid the entire I don't know. Maybe it's just a, an accounting. Um. National debt's three thirty one trillion, you know? Hold on, look so at that. Look at maybe that. it's us and some other people and we're responsible for the entire national debt. That one account paid for the whole thing. <laughs> well, nobody got their money back. Oh, let's, or... let's the Forbes list, okay? So yeah, it's possible, but he would be known notoriously like Escobar. He would be an Escobar at a hundred billion dollars. A hundred billion owed to Chase. They're going to come and get you. I'm just saying, if there's any way you're even secretively, like they they even know who the oligarchs are. And nobody's, you know, there's very few that are doing, you know, at the hundred billion mark. I got to tell you, I, I am so excited to have you on the show, Patrick. Clearly, I had no idea that such a, a guest like you w was so amazing. Patrick, I, I, I really, it's glad to know you. You know, if if you ever... Um, you know, deal with another hundred billion dollars. I'll always be there for you. I'll I'll do whatever you need. I'll carry your lunch. We yeah, we should do a GoFundMe right now. Let's do it. You know, I mean, we're gonna pay this back, right? No, so, we might have to. Or you know, you're committed to it. You know. <laughs> so so I don't I know mean, anybody I don't, I don't who know. owes I mean, anybody a hundred billion dollars. By all means, Sauce can send us product. <laughs> But if they were to arrange like payment as well, I don't know what kind of financial situation they're in. But I'll 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 be polite to you guys. Here's the deal: we will discuss this every time I'm on the show. I will use this product. I'll rave about this product. I will describe how 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 incredible this is for uh, say five billion. Nice, nice, nice. Monthly. Now you're going. Now you're going. You got to start raising some money, I guess. But. Yeah, dude. I got to hit the ground running. I mean, I mean, it's, it's I a drop go, in the bucket, $5 yeah. billion, You know, at that rate, I'm going to have to keep this up, you know? I, I, would, I mean, I, it, in other words, sauce at $5 billion a month is not covering my debt anytime soon. I don't see recreational marijuana covering that kind of number in, in right away. No. No, no even think, if New York – and by the way, why are they dragging ass with this, the places that actually sell this stuff? So, so let's talk about that. So talk about I, the billion-dollar markets. I yeah, mean it's not $100 yeah. billion dollars the state would get, but, but no, it's easily he, what? $4 billion maybe? So, so people, A billion? People They're may just, know in, in my world I'm uh, – well, there you go. Um, I'm involved in recreational marijuana. Um, I'm a technologist for dispensaries. And it does seem that in this area, um, possibly, and I'm not sure, but maybe New York got themselves into a little bit of a quagmire. The quagmire is that in order to be um, um, validated, to be authorized to get a license for marijuana, recreational marijuana sales, to open a dispensary, you would have had to have a marijuana conviction. Well, and beyond that, there's the opt-out, the opt-out right, but, but with the local municipalities, so which really curtailed it. For people, okay. That, it's very confusing at the own guess. That, You're talking about who is actually supposed to. It gets even more confusing. So, yes, 
What I said was was right exactly what I meant. In order for you to be valid dated to be able to apply for a recreational marijuana license, you have to have been a convict and have a conviction for a marijuana um, arrest. And then you also have to prove that you've been in business for two years successfully. And now you're going to be approved. If you saw in the paper the other day in New York State, there was a Bronx committee get, I think, 10 people approved so far. The problem you're going to have, that's what's happening all over the country, even in Manhattan, if you're driving through Manhattan, you could stop at the corner instead of buying a scarf or gloves, you can buy bags of weed. How does the dispensary owner now deal with the street dealer? Well, that's, that's they're a forcing a black market. But but then how are you going to give one set of marijuana convicts a license and the other ones you're going to arrest? Well, there's no logic. I can to ask that anymore. answer a question by asking a question. Sure. How are you going to say that I'm confusing an issue that you just confused? It has nothing to do with that when if you pull up this screen right now, you're going to see towns are opting out. So even if you have a marijuana Correct. conviction and it's two years of selling, how are you going to open up a retail location? Yes. Well, so we're, that they we're can actually – this is, this is totally legal, legal. No, I'm talking about Suffolk and Nassau and Suffolk. I don't know about Nassau and Suffolk. I just know about – Oh, Manhattan. okay. No, no. Nassau and Suffolk, part of the state legislation was they allowed places to opt out. Yes. Yes, correct. And most – Towns have opted out, other right. than two. Two towns did not opt out, I'm told. Right, which is interesting because it forces the business to go there, but it also curtails any business that could be done for a legal thing in that town. In other totally. words, they are basically only opting out of the tax potential, yes. but also by limiting by, – by, it's almost like, like a – I don't even want to say the word, but it's because it's even the but it's puritanical. You know what I mean? It's well, this well, well, it's well, this well, method of it's this thought process of, and I've I've read it time and time again. Look, we've been doing this the whole show. Okay, in fact, when we were being most silly was when we weren't touching this and we were on the phone with the Chase representative. Yeah. Okay. Now, anybody that knows me, I'm not within that industry. I do it for pain management. And I don't have a choice. It's either that or I would not be able to sit in this chair. Anybody that sees me moving this whole time, it's not I'm squirming because I'm uncomfortable. Yes, you this do exercise hurts. before you sit down. He you knows have, this. You have it's like physical we, we end the show where it's like, yeah, I can't sit in a chair anymore, okay? So what we're dealing with now is it forces a market to exist somewhere else or a black market to exist within the places where it's legal, but just not a license obtainable to actually open up a shop. Mm -hmm. That's absurd right now, by the mm -hmm. way. But that, in terms of that, millions of dollars right now. We, we keep hearing about debts and situations within counties and townships. Exactly. And then they're opting out because they're saying, well, we don't want that in our town. Mm. How many towns do you see? Strip clubs, you see alcohol all over the place. But, but they're going to pretend like they're better than thou with this. I mean, this is actually in a tech. Mm. The tech behind this. The tech behind we were going to joke incredible. about that. We were going to start to get into it. But the tech behind these things is kind it's of astounding. Sick. Exactly. But at the same time, what I've been explaining to Ed is the e-waste. So the, the actual byproduct of this, we need a better method at, at the mm. end of the day. And by doing what they're doing, they're creating two situations. They're creating other si uh, communities, if you will, to thrive, which wasn't part of, part of the social equity. Mm. So mm. it's certain towns are opting in or out. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anybody with half a brain like certain states who are opting in recreationally years ago, we're looking at it purely But hold on, bro. Look at what it says here. Hempstead? I mean, that's where people buy weed in Long Island. I mean, what? <laughs> they're opting out? What's the point there? So, well, I'll so show you why. Areas where there are smith Here is why. This is, Island, I mean, uh, this is the new step? face of, of Long Island, okay? So it's not just that. I got to get to... Uh, what do you want to do? Satellite view. What is this, Apple? Ugh, I hate you, Apple. Right, okay. I'm sorry, I hate Apple. You're trying to do too much. That's what No, no, it's just, it's Apple. So, but the point is that the No, areas, I'm not trying to do too much. Give me a second. I can adjust areas, from the right side to the left side and how areas, you close out a freaking okay. screen. Go ahead, go ahead. Apple. <laughs> Take a bite from the Apple. <laughs> All right. Uh, so hang on a second. Okay, okay so we were talking about... Uh, Yes, Hempstead. Hempstead. Uh, people are going to love this. You want to see interaction University, right here? So, University, University. Oh, excellent. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. How cool so, is this? when you're dealing with people We're on the I, show, I, pulling up maps and stuff, man, how cool is this? Okay, so I'm going to do the, the flyover real fast, okay? okay yes. So, when it turns, it, it, you would mention Manhattan before, okay? Yes, yes. Manhattan's already got its grid, but it's got its density and development. Mm -hmm. You've got its bigger buildings, okay? 
So what you put in there in terms of like retail, even if it's a, a anything, mm-hmm. is going to get drowned out by it, exhausted, okay? Mm-hmm. But nobody kind of owns Manhattan in terms of community neighborhood is the absolute truth to it. Okay. Okay. You don't have that until you start getting way out east into these neighborhoods, the green areas. Okay. Okay. Okay? So when you see the areas that are, that are lighter shaded, these are areas that are basically paved over, overdeveloped. So Hicksville, Bethpage, Westbury. Once you start getting north of Jericho, of uh, Long Island Expressway, mm-hmm. you're seeing the green areas again. Yeah, slight adjustment but so we see the whole now thing. we go in towards like, let's say Garden City, right? These areas, they're trying to maintain a certain image. Mm-hmm. The, the village, right? The, the quaint historical town where they can overcharge for parking keep a couple of historic buildings that are written off and then get people to pay overpriced items that they could get on Amazon for much cheaper. Okay. And then within that, they try and appeal to local artisans who can't compete with the modern real estate. Mm, okay. So what they're doing here now in terms of this, I, there's probably a lot of liquor stores. I'm not going to look them all up. But okay. what we're zoomed in on right here is Hofstra University. C- can I ask you to do me a favor? Flip it to the other side. It'll give a better picture on to the audience. To you, okay. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Awesome. Let me make some so we've got Hofstra University, Eisenhower Park. So it goes back to the day of the hippies smoking, okay? okay? There's still a massive stigmatism against marijuana use, anything with THC. Really? Okay. Even though the edibles have taken off and CBD product. Come into Hicksville, okay? Now, locations, you have to remember something else. The value of these products is not cheap. The dispensaries okay. in, in other states have massive security that they operate with, So this with, is right? center Long Island here, central Long Island. Okay. Now, when we hear of the towns opting out, these are these smaller, more suburban places, the shops, the, uh, the walkable-type villages. Do you know what I mean? For some reason, it has something to do with the stigmatism of that, why they're keeping that out. Ironically now— really? Well, Huntington, for example. I know Huntington is being stoic with their perspective of it, which is ironic because it's— their administration is the— I'll just bluntly say the party that's supposed to be friendly towards business, especially— corporate type, larger commercial potential. Yeah. They're viewing this like it's a local strip club slash bar, like, oh, we don't want that in our town without even recognizing the, A, the tech or the, the market behind it. And the, money the quality control. The taxes. Yeah, I mean, you're walking around with vomit on the weekends on the sidewalks. It's not going to come from these shops, but they're saying we don't want it here. But their residents are, are, are smokers. Well, what smoke. it is is it's not their residents. Their residents might be smokers, but when you look at certain places like Garden City, what you have is restaurants and shops. You mm-hmm. have bars. Mm-hmm. A lot of the nightlife in these locations thrives on the actual bars. Mm-hmm. Places are, are literally promoting. Like to use my, my town again. I'm sorry, Huntington. I apologize. We're on Oyster Bay, so let's, let's knock Lewis for a little while. <laughs> no, I can't. We're in Nassau. Huh. I'll shut up. Na- Oyster Bay is a lovely place, especially the, uh, the incorporated hamlets. So, and then Smithtown. Lloyd Harbor, like- phenomenal. Huntington Bay, absolutely yeah. beautiful. But these are areas where they've opted out. I did out. promise I was going to talk shit on the show tonight, though. But hold on. They opted out of having recreational marijuana in these well, areas. Well, be- I'll go back to the talking shit because to use an old word that is considered derogatory, but I can use it because I'm white, this is where wasps live. This is white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. It's going back to colonial time, though we don't want them there. Whether it's people of color, people of different religion, nationalities, you understand? This, this is day one, old school, we're better than you mm-hmm. because of some inferiority complex because of the king of England mm-hmm. back in the day. Mm-hmm. I, I still never figured that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they control these fiefdoms. This is mm-hmm. where the historic properties are. This is where the – what is it called? Uh, the preserves. You understand? The, the massive amounts of green spaces. It's where we would more like to go almost to vacation, but it's all privately owned typically, and there's no, there's no hotel there. You know, you got to go down to like Myrtle Beach or something like that, Virginia Beach or Miami, to actually enjoy nature like this if you can't own it. Now, their perspective, for whatever reason, they might own millions or $100 billion in, in a company that deals with <coughs> THC. Hmm. But this is that I don't want it in my backyard. They still have this mentality of it. Do you understand? Got now, it. In terms of medicinal, it's medicinal and it was allowed medicinally prior, but we still don't allow it to be written off in insurance as a, med- as a medicine. So they are literally playing some kind of ridiculous, stupid game right now because most people don't pay attention. Most people don't care. Yeah, but hold on for us. We'll just drive to the city if people need it. Or, or the, I mean, a city drive is right, an hour away. Right, and to go back to that, that's the devil's advocate <coughs> on behalf of people that should be answering for themselves. And Chase just made a mistake. And they, they 
we'll just drive to the city. So why, why is the towns and municipalities skipping out on millions of dollars when all it has to do is proper planning? Mm. I mean, you can't just put a bar or a Good strip point, club bro. next to my home unless I'm in an, an area that is zoned for that. So why don't they just look at the zoning allowances? So the towns that did allow it, I believe Babylon opted in. Where I live in Babylon, in Huntington, in terms of traffic at times, if you live on, let's say, Oyster Bay or, or, or Lloyd Harbor, like I'd shown on the map, it takes you a certain amount of time just to get to Huntington Village and then beyond that to get all the way to, to the expressway, let's mm-hmm. say. I'm closer in proximity to Babylon line than I am Huntington Village. Okay, okay. So in terms of that, Huntington is just shooting itself in the foot financially. Because not having that option. Right? Yeah, and the idea of people walking across the street smoking joints is what their absolute fear is. That, I mean, I've, I've seen it. I've heard it. I know some of the politicians. I'll call them out. No, I got to do but this. But the same politicians Bob walk around Trott the city. Bob Trott has been saying this, and the he's got to stop doing this. I don't know if he's still doing this. they go to the city, and they're smelling but, it. And, Bob, What's if you're difference? not, I apologize a thousand percent. Maybe you've seen the light, and it's, it's a joint light, you know, or it's one of these, dude. I mean, the whole time this guy's known me, all right? They might think I'm quirky at times. It's because I do not give a shit about their game. Mm, I live okay. here. Okay. We have to suffer through this. Yes, yes. Okay. You know, you did what you could to bring to the table what, what tech they couldn't understand. Mm, they true. still don't understand it. And what we're sitting with now is Chase Bank sending out $100 billion notices. And we're all just writing it off, assuming right now, because we've drank that form of the Kool-Aid. Oh, it's probably a mistake. It's probably no big deal. Mm, It'll yeah. probably be corrected. Exactly. But, but as you saw in the news, how many... People who don't know freaking out because they owe a hundred billion dollars. Let's talk to some of our audience for a moment. Chris Chanel, uh, keep getting Verizon <laughs> saying uh, he o- that he owes Verizon four hundred fifty-seven dollars. Still, just want to say that's a reasonable amount compared to a hundred billion dollars. Reasonable why it might slip through the cracks and be paid. In fact, good good point. Which uh, then when I call the Verizon, I will owe them my internet and Wi-Fi, which is $62. Uh, I get so many spam calls. Even PayPal ripped me off one time. Got to be careful with those calls. It's scam all the time, guys, at this point. Chris, I'm sorry. You ever need my help, feel free to text me, call me. Let me know if the call you're on is not good or you're questionable. And Chris, real I fast. I can laugh when you're talking to Patrick. Um, I... I, I, I Think about Patrick and I are friends. Ed's, Ed had Neuralink. He's a bot. Um, how He's been programmed out of having emotion that's genuine and real. Hi, and welcome to Cybermasters with your host, Ed Nutella. Hold on, hold on, because he yells at me a lot. All right, so no, I'm No, that was your intro, it. dude. That was the intro. No, um, I don't know. It's This is a very odd show, as you see. This is and a very serious thing. And This thing box, he has a box. This is like Ed's version of Oz, okay? Ed's God. Yes, yes. And Ed just presses the button so what he's looking down he's not reading or interacting he's watching himself he's watching the show and he's playing the show like it's a video game yes yes so we have a camera here (laughs) but but he's figuring it out we have a camera here and we have a camera here you're supposed to now go to that camera so Uh, they can see me no we're still over what here no no i moved it over there look I was okay the well what was i on. seeing here what was broadcasting or? no yes that was my broadcast screen so that was yeah. the facebook screen so this is my point now i'm talking screen. and ed won't allow that because ed 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 is gonna finish saying what he was saying and see this would kill people in radio they'd be like holy shit was that dead air so yes ed and i know each other for a while so the reason he doesn't laugh is because he hears my shit whenever we talk on the phone and every once in a while, the reason, the reason for the show is it occurred to us, like, he's like, you should come on the show. <laughs> exactly. We have such interesting conversations that last like three or four hours long. So we give you the, 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 the nut of it, if you will. Yeah, yeah, when in yeah. reality, the whole, the whole conversation is what... But, but no, 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 no. I'll interrupt you. The balls we haven't had to do is, which is yes. this, is just to go into it. To want to speak no, I, go, you I a, told people, you dude, like a, you like don't understand. Singer, I've been like, joking about this since half this Axel viewership Rose is through dude? me. Get out of no, here. No, man, I told people, <laughs> if he touches my fucking mic, I'm going to kill him. All right, I'm to turn him down. Act now it's going to be blaring. Last no, 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 dude, see? Oh, man, see? You're blaring into the show, bro, into the I mic. I was acting. Come on, if I can't do modulation, uh, uh, what, yes, what good am I? Modulate, please, modulate away, modulate away. So, but but no, uh, we actually talk about really interesting stuff that's really scary, but funny at the same time, because you know what? What are you going to do? 
we deal with some scary. We've seen some really scary stuff. Talk to you know? Mike, please. I, <laughs> no, I'm just saying you were. I don't have. Just saying. No, we talk about scary stuff. Yes. <laughs> By the way, it's 84 days and counting for Suffolk County <laughs> being down, right? Yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's getting a little dry in here. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, um, no, we talk about really scary stuff because life is, is filled with scary this things. This is how we do it, folks. <laughs> this is the crystal ball. So, so, this so, is, yes. This is literally so, what we do to figure this stuff out. So, I don't know why Patrick wants to give away all his secrets. This is the special crystal that we collected when we went to Mongolia together on our special trip. <laughs> Last seen in one of the Indiana Jones movies. So right? so I keep it out. In the future, we'll reveal what happened on that trip. That is a crystal skull. That's no joke. <laughs> yes, that is a crystal skull. And and there's this special energy glob happening inside that can't really be seen. But when you get better cameras, we'll be able oh, to. I can see it. Yeah, I can. It's pulsating. It's, it's phenomenal. It's, it's, the lights, phenomenal. the colors. It's so incredible. Which yeah. reminds me, sauce. Yes. yes. <laughs> sauce. Getting back to the sauce. Ninety-three percent THC, two point six eight CBD. So now, Actually, let me I made those numbers what up. Kind, I have no so freaking idea. That makes you feel better. What makes you feel better? Well, hybrid indica or sativa. I think are the three names. It right? looks like the hybrid works for the deeper pain. On um, the sativa, I'm going to have to go with a sativa and indica and a hybrid. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? Because so, the, the pain variations fluctuate. I apologize. I'm supposed to be stoned, so I shouldn't be talking like this. So hold on. Hold I should, on. Uh, let me dumb this down. Hold on. We have yeah, a dude. Few so samples. it like hurts like real bad sometimes when it rains, and like my back goes like you know, and it cracks and shit. So like you know, take a little couple of tokes, and you know I'm good to go. So ho- hold on, doctor. So let's talk about some samples we have here. Okay, first. You have which color do you have there? What do you have there? Exactly? Well, it's not just color. They're color coded for reasons. It okay, turns we we out. have so the close up green, area. which is apple fritta. It's a hybrid uh, okay. gelato, which is a hybrid. So also, yeah, let's put it into the into our area here. Put it right there in the middle. And by the way, this again is the whole market of it, which is childish. It's like the Baskin Robbins flavors, the names of these things. Do you know yes. what I mean? They're not appealing towards, like, the higher echelon of academia with their names, you know? So you can't really tell what it is. Apple Fritta, Skittles with a Z. So so what is it? It looks like a little pen, a little eraser. It looks like an eraser. Uh, uh, You you want to put it down so the audience can see it? Put it right there in the middle. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Here's the close-up, okay? We will actually show the name. So so here. And by the the way, this is a company out of California, so if they want to sue us, we're going to hide under the uh, fair use well, laws that us, no 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 i got it discount? don't you interrupt this I'm screw sorry. these guys we're trying to <laughs> grab us like chase grabbed me for a hundred billion dollars <laughs> so i don't want to hear anything from you or your lawyers but we're going to hide between behind entertainment laws in california under fair use i i if you don't know what i mean then you need to get out of the business but yeah so we have a few variations here of different colors you want to tell us what these are and what they're all about here well, each color is actually a different flavor, I guess you could say, but it's not just a flavor. The flavors are like, call like sparkling waters, you know what I mean? Okay. It's some kind of additive they put in. It's not like it's extracted from actually peaches, probably, you know? But again, probably? I... Probably. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... This is funny. He doesn't want me moving the mic, but I have no choice to be able, but to be able to pull this off. No, we're good. Okay. okay. Don't touch the mic. I'm oh, sorry. I wish I was on camera right now. You guys would love the reactions that are going on okay, here. Okay, okay. So we've got Apple Fritter, which is a hybrid, okay? Fire OG, which is an indica. This is Gelato, which is a hybrid. <laughs> Granddaddy Perp. Straight up Granddaddy Perp. Yo, Granddaddy Perp is an indica. But, but, I mean, who doesn't know that Granddaddy Perp would be an indica? I mean, that just goes without saying. And Peaches, which is a hybrid. Oh, man. I could be so funny right now, but I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so... So these are little, little, you little, little, little before, pens here. They're just little... And, and what, there's a, there's, you, there's, a, there's a hole here? And this is how you... You smoke it? Okay, technologically speaking, well, we'll get into the mechanics of it. So the hole would be the... Uh, Let me move this iPad here. Where you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it as a straw, okay? But it's a self-contained straw with the oil in it. It's basically a self-contained delivery So where do you put the mechanism. oil in? Where do you put the you oil in? You don't. These things are unfortunately disposable. 
They're disposable, so the oil is inside space. already. Now, the oil is inside already on this. This right here is the issue. Okay, talk Each to me. Each one of these things contains a battery. Ooh, that's where you hack the the device. Yeah, that's where you hack the device and and can tell Flipper what to start and stop. <laughs> no, and, seriously, what do you use that for? What is that for? Well. I use Apple Frita for generating a hundred billion dollars on bank accounts, <laughs> and I use Gelato no, for generating a hundred billion in Bank of What is the USB port for? What is the USB, the USB port? The USB port is for recharging. But what I've been looking oh, up. Oh, so is, that that has weed and a cartridge all together in well, one. Well, when you say weed, it's an extract which is an oil. It's a oh, THC it's not extract. Gotcha. There's it's this whole THC. entire God. process, okay. and it's more, it's more laboratory related than kitchen sink related, if you understand. Gotcha, gotcha. So I've heard about this process for years by people that were in the industry. Okay. And it's so much a science of its own, I just kind of ignore it, if that makes sense, because I'm not into it. Okay, got I it, use it got for it. pain management. It's almost like knowing what the molecular combinations are within any medication. Sure, sure. And, and I know other athletes who use marijuana as pain management, as did Arnold Schwarzenegger, who described it in one of his first films in the 70s. Well, so it's I'm very normal. I'm glad they're uh, finally allowing it to certain degrees. The, the IOC needs to come into the modern era and recognize that, but they're so archaic with what they allow and so, don't. So these are about $100 a piece or so, roughly? And how long do they, how much is in there? How, what happens? How much is in there? And do you, how many tokes do you take? Well, I how don't know. People are going to hate this, but I didn't know the value because of the pain factor. I have somebody that gave it to me. So yeah, yeah. $100, so, I have to say thank you and send them a Christmas card then. So, so very nice. So these devices um, but uh, here's, last how long? Roughly? Now here's a point though. Yes. Uh, well, uh, from what I was researching, they said the average draw would be about two seconds or so. Somebody had said, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't done enough research on the individual mechanisms because there's so many of these things on the market. Mm. This is the only self-contained one that I've seen that mm -hmm. keeps coming. There are like e-cigarettes, they called. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, mm -hmm. it was producing a massive amount of e-waste. Mm -hmm. This stuff hasn't fully hit the market yet, but they're not allowing for us I, I to... Your mic so I can see you because otherwise I can't see you. The mic Sorry. just went limp. Dude, you just made my mic go limp. There you go. On camera. I need to see you. You know how that makes me look? You're perfect. You're perfect. No, I'm going to be talking and it's going to like sink I just, down, I couldn't dude. see your face you on the camera why angle, can't bro. Why can't you leave the mic alone? Because I had to see your face. No, I you don't have to see my face. See, now and you lean back too far. i got to move the camera. Uh, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. The keep, show, keep, keep in the mind, audience I'm, wants good camera keep angles, Keep in mind, bro. I'm smoking this and you're not. So somebody's going to accuse. <laughs> Look what it's doing to Ed. Look what the secondhand vape is doing. It's made Ed dumb. <laughs> So tell me more about these. So these are people. made where? California? These are where? From New Zealand? Where do they come from? This company, I think, was out of California. So this is from California. Um, and this I is would what assume, though, in terms spoken. of the way there's manufacturing, you yes. could have the, the – no, I don't know where the, the corporation is based. Okay. But, okay. yeah, this company is out of California. Okay. And this is what all the kids are smoking. Okay, now here's the deal. Before this is we what all the further, kids are smoking. No, is my level right? Yes, you're good. Because you're I keep bringing it up closer. No, you're perfect. You I want me to speak you're into fine, the mic, but fine. you want my face to be seen. You're fine. And I can't do both. You look you. lovely. You look excellent. This is a wonderful show so far. Who does... Where can you see a demonstration of what this stuff is? Everybody thinks marijuana is this bad thing, bad thing. I know athletes, famous people who use this as, as pain medication as compared to more serious drugs. The world has accepted this, and this is the format that, in your opinion, is the most commonly used today. Oh, yeah. So why has this become the most popular delivery method as opposed to smoking out of a bowl or a joint the way they did in the Cheech and Chong, like, why is this the best delivery method? Because it's, uh, it's what medications are supposed to be. They would find something in nature that would have some kind of remedy, okay? Then they would extract that and sometimes synthesize it. Mm. This, in terms of that, it's still THC. They're not fully synthesizing it, which is one of those strands of, like, Delta-8, I think it was one. Yes, the artificial yes. ones that were yes. killing people. Mm -hmm. So what this is, is essentially is like, like aromatherapy, right? Mm. They figured out how to extract the oils, the essence of it, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're dealing with. So, and then what happens is it vaporizes it, meaning it heats it up in a coil. Mm -hmm. So long-term mm -hmm. consequences could be some kind of like problem with putting too much oil on your lungs. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Isn't that they would say about it, vaping no. cigarettes? Uh, I, I don't. It's a bad no, uh, oil going onto your lungs? Well, it has no effect beyond a certain point, and we've been just like almost like ad nauseum with this. I don't do this this much with this ever. 
I'll do it maybe <laughs> once or twice and put it down. But I guess the point of the this but some is, kids probably suck one of these in a day. Well, even if you do though, I mean, we have the video of the show to prove the actual physical effects of it. It's like it's literally pain management for me. It's not like you can say, "Oh my God, look how inebriated he is." That's a very good point because I spoke with someone in law enforcement, and they said there's no difference between drinking um, right, right. and 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 smoking. Of course, not to the law, but in reality, there's quite a difference. Well, give me a give me a camera. I gotta stretch for a second because I'm I'm in pain. But ready? And, and you see how my look at the pinky man. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, can you imagine this? So with all this, and I shouldn't be able to be able to do this physically normally. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the high functioning Asperger is why I sometimes double talk and stutter. Okay, okay. It's not a THC thing. So if okay. anything, the THC allows me to not care about it. So, so um, it doesn't even smell like THC anymore. No, because it's an oil. It's, that's why I said like aromatherapy. So this is a pen that smells like some kind of raspberries, and you're telling me there's THC that makes you feel better. Is it CBDs or THCs actually in this pen? For me, it's the THC that works, not the CBD. For a lot of people, what's the, the difference in the two? I don't fully know. Okay. But aren't CBD heavy products better for pain medication? I, I got to tell you this. My father passed away on a Halloween. Um, I owe Chase $100 billion. And you're asking me science about oils that I don't know. Can I ask you, why, why are you doing that? What's wrong with you? Do your parents know you do this? You said your wife approved of this. She watches, right? Artie was supposed to stop by tonight. Artie, Artie has a big, big announcement. And I have a bigger announcement, in okay. fact. I'm trying not to So in 2023, again. I'm going to be running for town council of Huntington again. Wow. Yeah. Town council, okay, of Huntington? How many councilmen are there, or women or people? That irrelevant. Okay. What will your specific uh, running platform be? Or what will you be running on? Uh, that they're... Oh, what's the word? They suck. <laughs> don't be no, too no, technical. No, 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 you're right. I don't want to be too technical. <laughs> they're like not good at what they're supposed to be competent at. Welcome to America in every government in that town position. and city. And to use something nobody in my family ever actually said, but I'll say a great uncle said it because it sounds more colloquial. And like, like great uncle Joey used to say, shit or get off the pot. So they sit in these chairs for way too long, and they just kick things down the road, you know? Yes, It's yes. why it allows for, in my opinion, it's the one thing people are allowed to engage in. Yes. And they yes. get let down every turn yeah. to the point where when you get a $100 billion debt, <laughs> you just go, oh, it's probably a mistake. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. It's a whole mindset, bro. I didn't even consider that to what you're saying. Well, I'm the philosophy guy, so yeah. It's, a, it's the sickness of our society, if you will, of... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We have this mentality of it's broke, nobody can fix it. There's not a lot of politicians that speak like you. What makes you think that the system will allow you to participate, if you will? I did this once before, and they tried to literally block me from the process because they don't want this to happen. They were concerned I'd be too rogue. So I don't get too rogue. I'm going to try not to be inflammatory against the opponents. Okay. But when it really comes down to it, the issues that, are, that are, we're facing – if they were competent of addressing the issues or knowing what they were, we wouldn't have these problems. But yes, they agreed. wouldn't walk into every election not knowing if people like them or not when they knock on their door. Mm. I know a couple mm -hmm. of people. I, I mean, I know mm -hmm. some phenomenal people in elected representative positions, mm -hmm. but they're very rare. Mm -hmm. Most people have their favorite person, and if you look at the end of the day, it's some favor they did for them. Yes, a exactly. door they open for them. It's like that's not or what campaign it's to be. tickets. It's the only way in. I mean, no. Well, you have to understand. Point. I have no chance technically unless I get major party endorsement. But what I want to do is screen with both parties because I've represented social community issues before. I apply and appeal to both sides. Then you don't stand the, a chance. Then people you don't within stand their parties chance, are telling bro. me this. So let's see exactly like we did with Chase. Let's see what happens. Okay, your your people in your party tell me. They want me to run, and they want me to be on your platform because they'll only vote for your ticket. Yes. So let's see what you think of me. And that's going to be very interesting. Like you've even said – you keep saying, oh, I'm an interesting guest. But, 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 I, they, I but the party will stop screening. you. The party will stop you and say you can't No, the party – in Huntington, it's Cuthbertson. Mark I, I don't, Mark, I don't think Mark likes me. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That could be because of me calling out the town board over the years over stupid decisions or mm-hmm. improper mm-hmm. things that they did, mm-hmm. in my opinion. By all means, just in my opinion, I'm not an expert. Yes, yes, apparently, yes. Well, well, you seem to have more logical sense than everybody else, so how do you know you're not an expert? More than a chinchilla that was going to run for the state. Yes, I a, saw the chinchilla. That was good. So, so Artie, is Artie going to be with you? What's his take? I don't know. I should. Oh, that'd be God, a good idea, though. The but the problem is, is the, the, you do know there's a political connection. But the question is, is already <laughs> is already watching? Because we shouldn't be saying uh, no. No. Screw it. What about, Does what about Ed Nutella? Have, Can with, Ed Nutella be part will of Will Artie step down politically? Can he run because of his job? But will Artie? Because you can't do both. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. Okay. Like. I'm known rogue. Yeah. I, I will sever yeah, yeah, yeah. all political contact whatsoever if I'm going to do this, even if it means running as a write-in. Mm. I'm not going to intentionally burn bridges. I will put myself out there and say, hi, I'll meet you and I'll mm-hmm. talk to you. Mm-hmm. But don't expect me to play the same exact game. Here's mm-hmm. your chance for legitimacy and honesty mm-hmm. for somebody who's actually been doing it anyway. Mm-hmm. Do you want to give me the job? It's part-time mm-hmm. and these other guys suck. You want to make yourself look bad for another cycle? Two to four years playing the bigger game. My money is on the hundred billion dollar mistake. They will only They're hire gonna... people to protect their way of life, not somebody who exactly. wants to break it. Exactly. So it's going to be the same. And their way of life is is the nepotism with all their friends and family. I got thrown in as a rogue, which is I went in as fast as I went out. The people who survive are people who don't want to change much. It's true. It's not just that, but they. Uh, it's. Uh... A herd mentality. A herd that mentality. Don't rock the boat. You know, exactly. even think of it this way: the, the whistleblower protections. Yes. How often do you hear of whistles being blown, though? Whistles are getting kind of quiet. You know. No, you know whistles this too because credit. it's known publicly. Even, but I'm not a whistleblower. I get whistles blown <laughs> to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're afraid of doing it. Mm. And then we have to play this game of figure out how to get it actually be known and not cover it up. Cover it up by it. Yeah, exactly. And you know some of them. Let's actually get into some of them because one has been slipping through the cracks for a while. The Gilgo, the Gilgo Beach Murders. The Gilgo Beach Murders. Very Look that exciting. one up real fast. I don't care how long we go into right now. Look, Very what's, what's the death toll on that? I don't even know. And then they say it might be multiple people. Moral of the story is my mother was watching some crime channel thing the other night. And I hear names and I'm like, wait, is that this thing? That was this thing. Hmm. So it's on like, it's nationally known and we're sitting here. We don't know who did it. Hmm. Hmm. They I, they know who did it. They just can't say who did it. They can't. There's laws. No. People protecting this whole thing. No, because it's too close thing. to home at times. Hmm. What? Do you remember the Jack the Ripper story? Yes. Yes, of course. What if it was the aristocracy? Okay. And if it was, what if it was a cover-up within the aristocracy? Okay. Now, that doesn't seem plausible. That's not possible here, right? That there would be some kind of aristocracy or people within a protected sure class. Sure would. That were banging prostitutes, that yeah. were doing coke. No, no, no. And what I just said would offend some people more than the fact that there's been no actual conclusion to the case whatsoever in all this time. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I saw a bunch of people campaign on this. This isn't just because I'm doing it. No, 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 no. I, I have nothing to do with that in, in any shape or form. If, if I get elected to Huntington Town Hall, mm. I can't do anything about that. Mm. But mm-hmm. the people that run for those positions who said they're going to find out what it was slept on it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, how many victims were there? That, how many families are involved? It's like... Yeah, many. I'm believe. trying to find out closure of a $100 billion thing. They don't know who killed somebody in their family and it's being used as a political hot topic. That's true. That's that hundred that billion could be from some right other case. A, you know, even if it's social, a cover up of monumental proportion. Where are the whistleblowers on this? Wow. Nobody knows anything. So I mean, what the hell is going on with that alone, right? Another massive cover up that we're watching right now. What day are we in? Eighty four, eighty five. A Suffolk County cyber breach. Yes, exactly. Still down. Still down. Good point. What do you think about that? I think we talked about it again. Ad nauseum on your show anytime in the past. That's why I pulled out the crystal ball. It's like we talk about it on your show and it comes to be true. So maybe Sauce will, because we were joked about it, send $5 billion a month. Let's take a look at maybe this. Maybe they got deep pockets like that. I don't know. I didn't mean New to York Times, them. how a cyber attack plunged a Long Island county into the 1990s. What, you, Ooh, what yeah, yeah. New is York, this article? New York Times, it's from uh, oh, yeah, on, on Monday. 
Wow. It's the day that you got your your issue. That was Title my first, searchers my first thought when I saw that happen was somebody had got into Chase's system and was looking at recently reported deceased people that hadn't maybe entered into some final system and was maybe right. drawing huge amounts of funds. So let's see what it says here. New York Times, title searchers examine mortgage and title records manually. Examine mortgage and title searches manually at the Suffolk County Clerk's Office. Apparently that's what it looks like. And there's a computer in front of her. What does she have open? Oh, we can't really see. Okay, but these are all the all the stuff. Can we read what's there? I don't know if that's a good picture they should have taken. Emergency dispatchers taking down 911 calls by hand, unable to use geolocation technology for callers. Wow, the full scope of damage is still emerging. Well, it you goes know? further because we had talked about this. People even asked me on your last show. We just went through the election, and it did affect the election too. It did affect the election. How? I'll look that up because I don't want to say. They're talking about title search problems. Police problems. That we knew about. Fearful 9-11 resp- uh, response times. Uh, it says it was carried out by Black Cat. Yeah, nice one. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, they don't really mention that here, do they? You know? I love that spot that you did talking about Bitcoin I don't think- being down. And if you're going to pay your ransomware, perhaps now is the time to invest in Bitcoin. Yes, exactly. That is hysterical. Um, it was a lesson learned, a very expensive lesson. Well, um, you know, there's a couple of ways to do this. If I could just put my conspiracy hat on for a second. I just want to put on my conspiracy hat, okay? This is Conspiracy Joe, okay? This is not Ed Notella. It's the conspiracy man. Isn't it interesting how... Elected officials and certain governments throughout the United States have a cyber attack that occurs roughly about a year before a major election. But, of course, it's all a mistake because the cyber attackers are very vicious and they're just breaking through the hundreds of millions of dollars of technology and science that have been installed in these countries and these counties and just took them down like... Butter, like you know, nothing. Well, it so you know what I mean. Earlier. It's not a conspiracy theory, of course. It's a complete accident. All of the other governments in this region that have not made press, uh, who were able to control of all of it, same thing, you know. So I don't know what to say there, bud. What's your take on that? You know, it's not, it's, it's just a conspiracy theory. Of course, it's just an accident. No, it's seriously, no, no, no. I, they should have. I'm going to keep talking because anybody that's anything. watching this is literally Ed talking and talking and talking and then randomly going to me when he felt he was whatever, <laughs> clicking the button and going, what do you say, bud? <laughs> and then when I have an actual well, emotional reaction, forward, he decided forward. click and bring it back. And here I am. Look at this. See how I'm crouched down? So screw you. They don't need to see my face. Okay. You can adjust that camera or something, and we're going to take over Ed's show right now at the okay. final moments of it. Okay. I feel he has to wrap soon. We've been going for, I think, an hour and a half, and yes. nobody has the attention to listen to us for an hour and a half. Exactly. No one does. No. no that's 90 minutes. Let's, <laughs> let's wrap at 90 minutes. Cause... So, All right. In the done. final minutes. Yes. The final minutes. Well, tell them about the show you got planned coming up in December. Oh, oh yes. Thank you. We're going to have a cybersecurity panel. We're going to have a fairly serious and interesting discussion around cybersecurity and government and what to expect in the next year. Patrick will be part of our panel. Um, he's a very important part of our panel because he understands the psychology of government and what their perception is of the problem. We're going to have a senior IT um, technologist and a certified homeland security cybersecurity expert, and we're all going to be talking about what to expect in the next twelve months and where we've come to this very dangerous point in American history with technology. And we hope to do it on the fourteenth. It's in about two weeks or so. It'll be posted on our calendar on our website. Um, I look forward to a really healthy. Um, uh, important discussion. It's going to be more factual, uh, not conspiracy. Um, and but we're going to be taking apart the facts and let everybody think for themselves what they think is going on. 
Um, I always think conspiracy, especially now, um, if you look at through humanity throughout history, technology is what drove everything. Now we're letting it go. It's it's evaporating. I, I don't get it. How could these governments not take technology to an utmost importance, Patrick? What do you think, man? There's no oversight. Yeah. Just a $100 billion question. Like, how did that email get sent out? Why did it get sent out? Nobody would have known. Nobody stopped it. Is there going to be a corrective action on it? Is there going to be a follow-up email? Just that as an example for everything. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Vape pens with, with, within a world of problem with disposable things and, and energy sources and e-waste, we have vape pens that are disposable. Yes. And it's a delivery method that's technically medicinal. I use this as almost like an asthmatic would use an inhaler. But this is what I'm reduced to right now. This is the only way to do this or to smoke a joint like it's a Cheech and Chong movie. Oh, you can use gummies. It's like, can, can we grow up now and be realistic about this? So why is there a problem? And also, it's medicinal, but it's not insured. Mm. Mm. So nothing. There's no oversight, it looks like, on almost anything. You know what I mean? Your mm. market is based off of the fact of these inadequacies and let's call, you know, the fact that things are insecure. I, I love, I love the fact that I put that there. I, I like rephrasing mean. the word. No, it might be the fifth or sixth definition of using the phase. word insecure. We're in that phase of humanity. Yeah, I mean, lack of security, lack of contingency planning. You know, I mean, we saw that with Suffolk, where they didn't turn on the backup or whatever the case was. Whatever the case was, it doesn't matter. Whether yeah. with the chase, oh, it's a glitch within the By system. By the way, wait, just, just look at reporting. yourself at the camera right now. What do you see? My uh, my torn jaw. Tendons. I see something else. What's I see that? that microphone so far up. Yeah, be, well, you should have. You should be over here, okay? What and, are you talking and, about? No, just put the no, mic back down so you can. I know, like but this, here's the so thing: part of the disability well. is like some subluxations in the in the back okay. and the neck, yes. and I yes. am not leaning down like that. Okay, but so you don't you need want to, to leave it there. But yeah, but leave then, it right there. But I can hear you perfectly. But then you say, "Can you talk into the mic?" No, no, no. That was no, no, old. no. You do, that was you the do. old Ed. The new Ed doesn't oh, need you to talk into the mic. The new Ed doesn't do that. The new Ed doesn't touch the mic anymore from this show on, right? That's it. Or he's gonna get. I'm gonna bring. No, if you leave it there, we're good. We're good. And the new Ed is gonna when we have somebody else in the room that's proficient with the technology. Yes, is not gonna play God. No, no, well, we're going we're gonna to have lapels, I think, next time. No, because right now I would be hitting mine so it bounces back to me because, you understand? Yes, yes. You're slow on the draw. But look, I got you the iPad for now. That's a slight improvement. You got me the iPad, but look, it's in front of him. Because <laughs> you didn't use it anymore. <laughs> you took it it's away. It's yours. It's yours. You, <laughs> you oh, he's terrible, you man. I'm so right, sorry, listen, dude. All right, all right, this is, there getting, is video. Crazy. No, you can't lie. All right, all right no, look, they, we're, I, we're good. We're good. There it is, you know. There it is. This is why we do this live. <laughs> exactly. It makes witnesses. it more interesting, more interesting. Well, listen, guys, we'll keep you posted as to what happens with our friends. A uh, hundred billion dollars, you know what I mean? So, um, I, I, please let us know. We got to come back. You got to yeah. talk all about this. I mean, I will. Minus, I mean, everybody's really. I'm hoping it is what it is. It's a security setting. It'll go away, so no one can attack the account. I recommend to Chase they make it a plus instead of a minus, but it's not. That would be company. further insult, if that makes sense, though. If anything isn't, I, it's just. But I gotta assume if they so. You even, no, like you offer condolences. She offered condolences. Yeah, I'm still going through that. So it was nice to have this departure and this break. But I'm going back, and I'm going to be cleaning out, and I'm going to be doing what I can to help because a, a family member passed away. Right. It's not a happy time, right. you know. It's not a joking time, but in a way, it's almost laughable because it's. <laughs> I mean. What else can I do in this? But it's like, because, and it's not even a joke. Watch, there's no joke in this. Because we don't have $100 billion to pay. We never had $100 billion. We don't think he, he generated $100 billion in overdraft. So the whole entire thing, to be honest with you, at the end Ridiculous. of this, it's pissing me off. It's like, how dare your system be so flawed that right now I'm getting letters now, not to the $100 billion tune yet, but a different dollar and cent value still compared to the email. Right, right. So the excuse it's a rounding error is just more fuel to the fire. Oh, well, I'm at the point now where I'm literally over the next month, and if it's, if it's some kind of solicitation, Chase is not going to get any mail open that has my name at that address mm. because I don't need another insult. 
if that yeah. makes sense to you. Yeah. I don't need any more of this as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. No, I'm not going to say more because this isn't, we're only supporting this. We're not trashing anybody. Exactly. Exactly. But yes. If I was a client, I wouldn't be happy. So not being a client, I'm a little pissed off. Well, listen, thank you for a night of Cyber Masters. This was a great product demonstration. People learned about a $100 billion loss, about this interesting new medicinal product and this new packaging. See you guys next week. No, no, wait. Before you go. Okay, like, hold on. Pissed. One more. Like, one is more. there an attorney in the house? Can I sue for 1% because of the rest? Oh, listen. I am clearly I'll, fucking pissed off. I'll take 0.01%, you know? Listen, we're going to have to talk about this more. What happens after this? It's a very unique case. I've dealt with tons of cyber stuff. This doesn't make any sense. And the fact that they won't talk to you on these calls and keep perpetuating that it could possibly be $100 billion well, owed is to, incredible. One it's final incredible. word for me to, to make it worse is that an institution that's based on the points, the numbers, the actual decimals, you know what I'm saying, yes. could do that for their own internal whatever, if that's the case, or, or allow it to slip through. How did that email come through? Nobody checked to the level where a notification was actually sent out saying that this amount was owed. Yeah. And if it wasn't a, a clerical error or somebody typing it in there, yeah. that's the bigger problem. Because yeah. we can't just assume it'll be corrected because somewhere within the system it's showing or it was entered and this is the protocol mm -hmm. that's done. Mm -hmm. So it's not just people all around the country are constantly complaining about either overdraft fees or mysterious charges. True, true. So this one is a blatant red flag, but what about the ones that were not? I mean, how much is it this going catch on? It, correct. By the and, and I don't mean just flagged of by them. This yeah, is like seriously. a trillion dollar situation everywhere. It's crazy. I can't even imagine that. You know, uh, within a, within a quarter, a exactly. reporting period. Yes, exactly. it's a trillion dollar situation based off of one account easily. Good night. Good night. See you guys next time. Bye.